Hey guys, it's Marissa. Oh, oh my god, I have a cup. It really hurts. So, um, so first of all, I'm in a different setting. I'm in my bathroom today because I'm gonna be giving you guys a makeup tutorial. So I wanted to have like better lighting and stuff. So I know like in the, this video, the last video, and this video and the last video, different um backgrounds, but that's okay. So um today I'm going to be showing you guys the makeup from my New Year's Eve that I wore. Um I thought it was just like really simple and cute and a lot of people did as well. So I'm just like two people thought it was cute. So I just um, thought it was easy it. because I am not even a makeup like guru or anything. So it's just what I did. And um I'm using super affordable things. So yeah you're gonna be able to regret it. So let's just get started. Okay so I am using the Morphe palette the 35F palette. So I really like this palette. Um, when I went to the Morphe store, if you guys saw one of my vlogs, I got a whole bunch of palettes. So it's kind of helped me step up my makeup game. Oh, this cut. So um, I got my palette and I don't even start with anything on my face. I do my eyebrows first and then my eyes. So let me do my eyebrows first. So I do my eyebrows and this is just like the little thing I use. It's from the flea market, so don't judge me. Let me turn on my light makeup light i just do my eyebrows really quick okay so i went off camera and i did my eyebrows because i don't really want to be on camera doing them because i look super weird and quiet and like really focused this is as good as we're gonna get i feel like they've been really messed up lately okay so now i'm just going to prime my eyebrows my eyelids and i have this 240 um maybelline fit me can stick it's like super old but it's lighter so i would like to prime my eyelids with this <sighs> you guys, I just found out that I got a job and I'm like really excited. I'm like, I'm already planning all the stuff I'm gonna buy. <laughs> Horrible, I know, but your girl's just really excited. I just like to take it up and then I'll just get my little beauty blender and I'll just let me wet in it. I think we're in the bathroom right by a thing, right? Does anyone know how to like get stains off of beauty blenders? Because I feel like mine just has a stain. So let me just spread it out a little bit. This is a knockoff one from Ulta that I got for Christmas and I really like it. So now I'm just going to, now, like I said, I am not a makeup person, like not a guru. I do not know about like brushes or anything. So I just take the ones that I know how to use. So I'm getting the Morphe 35F palette. Look at the beautiful colors. Ooh. So now I'm going to use this. I'm not going to do any transition shades or anything because I'm not really good at that. I'm just going to do it how I do my makeup. So I'm using this shade right here. Can you guys see it? Focus. Is it focusing? Can't really show. So it's like, um, it kind of reminds me like a mauve shade. So I get it on my eyelid and I just kind of start inside and then I go around and I kind of curve it at the end. See how it's like the little curve? So I just curve it. I'm just putting it all on my eyelid like this. I'm even filling it in right here. So this is how it's gonna look. I like to do my um, eyeshadow a little bit higher. I know everyone's not really like that, but I like to do that. So just do whatever you wanna do, you know? So I'm using the same color, going on the other eyelid and just, now I'm not as good as doing the little thing on this eye, but um, I'm gonna try. Excuse me. So I just go in like that. Oh, excuse me, you're being cochina. Usually I have my contacts in when I do this because I did wear contacts under your seats, like I said. But I don't have them right now, so I don't have any. Like, I can't really see that good. <laughs> so we're just gonna buff it out. Let me put on my glasses for a second. Cause it's like, ah, I can see you guys. Okay, take them back off now. I'm being super weird, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to use this still. Just get it like on my eyelids. See, try to make it really even. Try to give, try to give the same shape. <laughs> see, this one is like a little bit more like high and this one's like really perfect kind of. Just going back in with the that. Taking it back. So I know it kind of looks like a cut crease, but we're gonna um we're gonna fix that up. So it's not gonna be like 
perfect cut crease. And I don't even know if this is a cut crease, honestly. So now I'm gonna go in with this. Where's my brush? Okay. I'm gonna go with this end of the brush. Can you see? It's like a little one. I'm gonna use the black. This black right here. So this is the color that I used before. And this is the black. I wanna use this little bit of black. Just get a little tiny bit because look how much is on the brush already. Like it was a clean brush. And look how much is on there. So I'm just gonna go in like along my crease and put a little bit of black. Just all around right here so you guys can see. Put that black on both sides. Just to darken it up a little bit. We're gonna be going back in with the regular color later to give it more like intensity. But this is just so it could be dark and not so light because I was like New Year's Eve. So I wanted to like match my shirt. I just wanted to be like a little rock star. But you could definitely do this for like a girl's night out. Like I said, Valentine's Day is coming up. So this is super cute with all the glitter and it's like flirty. So you could do that. I get the brush I'm gonna need later. So then I'm just going to just brush it out. Brush it out, brush it out. Brush it out. So I'm gonna go in because that one's not like taking forever. I'm gonna use this brush. It is a Morphe B77 brush. I don't really know what you're supposed to use it for, but I'm gonna to I'm going to just blend this out because it's a clean brush and it's big and fluffy, like me. <laughs> Um, to use so I'm just going to blend it out you see how it's kind of giving you like a smoky eye a little bit I really like that blend it blend it blend it blend it till your arms fall off <sighs> okay the one thing I like about this look is that I use everything I use my own foundation but I used a highlight from this palette and it's like this palette is really good and I recommend it for anybody. It's like super folly, fall into frost, duh. So see how when we blended this this black out with this um like mauve color, we lost some of the mauve color. So I'm gonna go back in with the first brush that I used. So let me give you the name of that brush. It's an M52 Morphe brush. Is it focusing? See how it has like a little angle? So I'm gonna go back in with that same mauve color that I used and just intensify it a little bit. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, I'm not tired of you guys, I'm just tired of myself. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in the crease a little bit or like the inner corner, oh I messed up. The inner corner and just, see look at the difference. So it's like more pink and this eye is not that pink and it just looks like super boring and disgusting. <sighs> so I'm gonna intensify this a little bit. Blended in with that black a little bit. Blended in with that black. See how it is? So it's like really nice and blended. It gives a little bit of depth. I don't know if I'm using that word right, but I feel like I might be. <sighs> I'm gonna go back in on this side and do the same thing. I like my mechanics are way better on this side. On this side, I'm gonna try to go out a little bit more like like this but don't worry I'm mean, don't worry if you like mess it up because you can always clean up a foundation that's what I'm gonna do guys I'm just gonna make it like more like that so I think that's good that's good it's like really pink ooh I like it so now with this black I kind of made my own eye color and I like that so So I like that, so we're done. So maybe this is a cut crease. Hold on, I need a text from my mom. So, so now that it's like, I like the way it looks, I'm going to start with my glitter. So I have two brushes I'm gonna use for glitter. One of them is just this old e.l.f. brush. And the other one is this Morphe M152 brush. It's just a little tiny brush. Can you guys see it? A little tiny brush. I'm going to be using two glitters on my eyelids. So I'm going to be using, first off, I'm going to be using this pretty, pretty burgundy shade right here. And then I'm going to, on the inside, I'm going to use this one. And it's just going to make your eyelids pop and look amazing. 
So amazing. So I'm gonna put the darker burgundy. See how pretty that is? I put the darker burgundy on the outside of my eyelid. Look at that, it looks amazing. And just kind of go like halfway. Ooh, pretty. And just do the same thing on the other eye. Make sure you blend it into the crease as well. Like I said, this is not like, I'm not naming, name, naming it as a cut crease. I'm just doing how I like to do it because I'm not like perfect at makeup. So this is just how I wanted to. Oh, I got some my eye. I just wanted to do it like this. So once we went like that, once we did that, we're just going to do a little bit more. Just kind of give it like a heavy set glitter look. Blend it, blend that shit. And then I'm gonna do the lighter glitter. This lighter glitter is such a pretty color. So I got my other brush, I'm just going in. I'm gonna go in my inner corner a little bit and I'm kind of just blend it. When you blend stuff out, it looks really good. So these are different glitters, but they look really nice. Ooh, see? Ooh. So the actual face look, like my foundation is going to be super, just like super light. Um, just foundation and highlighter, that's it. Oh, I think I wore some blush too. I don't really remember. I just remember I was going like super pink. And just super pink vibes because I just wanted to be super pink. So there we go. There's almost, there's our eye look, but we're still gonna do our under eyes and our eyelashes. So let's do our eyelashes. So I have these, I have these Coco Lashes in Foxy. Oh, they are so pretty. I know they look, oh, I know they look really like dramatic. But girl, trust me, they are perfect and amazing. So, okay, so I am back and my eyelashes are magically on. So um, now I'm just gonna move on to the face while these are drying and then we're gonna go back to the eyes at the end. So I'm just taking this L'Oreal True Match. This is the shade N678 Medium Deep. So I, I don't know if they even make this, this is so old. So I'm just gonna go to my eyes and just like clean up on the sides right here where I said I would clean up later because so I could just be like whoosh, cut. Then I'm gonna cover up these pimples that I have because they're nasty and I'm breaking out like so annoying. Pimples are the most annoying thing ever. I know you guys agree. In high school, I had like really, with a dryer, let me close the door. I bet you could hear it. All right, it's a little bit better. In high school, I had like perfect skin and then I started wearing makeup like senior year. And I think like my hormones and everything and I like don't eat the best all the time. But I do drink a lot of water, so that's good. But, um, so my skin just really, freaking broke out and it was insane and I was like so depressed but it's okay because you know people always have it worse than you like they're wishing their skin had and it's not even that bad it's just a couple of pimples so like there's bigger things in the world than that so I'm not even gonna stress so I'm just gonna take my fake beauty blender I have a real techniques one but I feel like this one's really hard I don't know why it has some dusty stuff on it so we're just I'm taking the um this is super old and nasty this is a L'Oreal Infallible True Matte because it was in the nighttime, so I was like, I don't want to get greasy and I don't want to let you in my pictures. I didn't even take that many pictures. So this is shade 111 in the summertime. I'm really dark, so I use 112. I'm running out. Good thing I have another one in my room. <laughs> I stocked up. So I'm just going to take this shade, my beauty blender, and just blend it into my skin a little bit. Do you guys know that I can do really good accents? Like really good like hi <laughs> that's not even an accent make sure you blend out all this stuff from your what's it called from your concealer okay so i'm gonna let you in on a little secret i was really not into beauty blenders i was just like oh whatever like they're probably just a hype you know and then my mom got one and she was like i don't even like it so i was like mm, i don't need one because you know they're super expensive so um I mean, they're 20 bucks, but like I could spend $20 on Starbucks or something important. So, um, I didn't get one. So then for Christmas, because you know, 
I don't want to buy it myself. My aunt and my cousins are like, what do you want? And I was like, I want a beauty blender. So they got me this and I really like it. Like, I feel like I was behind for so long. And like I said, I also have the Real Techniques one, but I feel like this one is just softer than my Real Techniques one. Maybe I'm just not cleaning it right. So now we're just going to... Ooh. That's my eyebrow. Not cute. Make sure you get your eyebrow, like, get the makeup. So, I have something on my face right here. I don't know what this is. Like, black. Black, black, blackly black. Okay. So, I'm pretty much done with my face. I don't do contour because I already have cheekbones. Like, no shade. But I just feel like it's not even necessary for me to do. Like, it's a waste of my time. So, now, I'm going to go in with my highlighter okay this is crucial right so this palette comes with a whole bunch of pretty sparkly um shades so i'm just going to take this color right here at the end you see it's focusing it's like a pretty pink i'm just going to highlight my face with it but like i want to be highlighted girl like i want to be extra af so i'm just going to highlight 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 can you see it Ooh, I'm pretty sure you can't see it. So I just do like my highlight, obviously, like on my face. Like I said, I want to be really pink, so I just really did that. I really just did the damn thing. You feel me? I do up here. Oh yes. Then I do my nose. I do my nose. And then I go back on my cheeks. Ooh, 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 kill it. Okay. So then I go, I take my big fan brush and I just clean it, like just lightly do it so it's not too too much. So now I'm going to go back to my eyes. I have some mascara right here. Now I do not curl the lashes, but I do put mascara on the bottom ones and then I squish them together. I was not doing that for a while because I was just like, wow. And I was like, wow, why are my eyelashes so ugly? Like you could tell they're sticking out. You could tell they're my fake lashes. But this girl that I went to high school with and I have her on my Snapchat, she's in cosmetology school or she was in cosmetology school. She cuts hair now and does like makeup. So, you know, like she's a pro. And she was doing like a little makeup tutorial on Snapchat. And she was like, see, they're just connected. So she was like, um, make sure to squish them together after you put in your mascara. And I was like, girl, you're so smart. Like, girl, girl. So shout out to her. Her name is Kirsa. Shout out to her for that tip because I would have just been looking raggedy. <laughs> and I don't do chalk eyeliner because I don't know how to do it. So maybe in the future I could learn. So I have that. Let's put some of my bottom. Wait, let me do my, ooh, see how this looks really like a lot. Let me just. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me just get some, my, my thing back. And now I'm going to do the same color that I use in my lids. I'm just gonna do it on my lower lash line or like on the, my under eye. I don't know what it's called. <sighs> I'm just gonna take it and just do it, baby. I really love doing a bottom like eyeshadow, I guess. I love that look. So see, you know some I just feel like it makes it look like way better, like nine times better, honestly. Like I said, guys, I am not a professional. This is just like how I like to do my makeup, and I think it looks nice. So I think I'm like beginning to intermediate. I'm nowhere near being an expert. It's just my personal look. And I just did a tutorial on this because you guys, a lot of people told me that they liked it. So 
So I was like, why not help out my fellow intermediates? And it's so fun. So I'm just putting on a little bit of bottom mascara. Okay, so I have on this bottom mascara. <gasps> Oh my god, America, what the heck? Does anyone else get a little bit of sweat in their top lip when they're doing their makeup? Because I do. Okay. Okay, so... Oh, I almost forgot the inner corner. I'm like, girl, like, that's the most important part. So I'm just going to take this one because I feel like it complements the look. It's just like a little thing. And I'm going to do my brow bone and my inner corners. <sighs> Looking at me like you love me. No, actually, I think it was this one because this one has more of a dent. So it's, it's this one. This one I use the most. I really like it as a brow bone and as an inner corner. So I will fix it right now. Oh my god, what the hell? This is what happens when you brush it on clean. I have like some pink. This has never happened to me before. Like as soon as I film a video, my brushes want to act weird. How annoying. I'm sorry, babies, I love you. Ugh, okay. Oh, thank god I didn't mess up a thing. Okay. See, so it's just some inner corner highlight because we want to be highlighted, girl. We want everyone to see us and be like, damn, what highlighter she got on? Is a highlight or is that oily skin? The world may never know. So I'm just gonna go back right here. Ooh, I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. Now I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit with my clean brush. I don't really know. I wish I knew what this brush is for. Okay, you guys, so I am all finished. Finito. Let me take you outside. So this is a bun, obviously, but um, I just wore my hair in a bun because I usually wear a bun when I do my makeup. On New Year's, I wore it down, but I really like how it looks with the bun because of this choker. I came outside to give you guys a little bit of, like, glam realness. Look at, ooh. Ooh. So I know you can see my highlight. Ooh, am I blinding you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. I was like I put on my I took off my lashes and everything but I totally forgot to tell you guys what lipstick that I use okay so I use Macworld so you put it together it's like really nude pink I love it so I um yeah so that's a lipstick I just realized complete that my inner now. corner highlight is a little much so just forgive me you can do it however you want this is now the complete look with the lipstick I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial like I said it's intermediate anyone could do it I did it so um, and the Morphe palettes are pretty affordable if you don't have one. I would recommend getting one. But um, if not, you could just use any pink you have because this is pink. I know in the lighting it looks a little bit brown. But when I went out in the sun, the good thing I did, you can see that it's pink. And if you watch my New Year's Eve vlog, you know that it's pink. So now I just showed you guys how to do it, how to put it all together. And I hope that you slay. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more. Um, let me know if I should do more makeup tutorials because I am getting a little bit better. But um still not like amazing but yeah so let me know if i should do more okay i hope you guys enjoyed like if i already didn't say that but um yeah thanks so much for watching bye